Yeah. My mother got me heading to the store to get her some coke. Say that her stomach hurting or some shit, man. She was in there watching YouTube and shit. She wanna interrupt me. And I ain't got my damn little tripod on here, so I'm up here thugging it out, holding it with my hand and holding the camera with my hand and shit. Man, what's going on? What's been what's been popping, man? As I've seen, we just dropped a video about uh, with us feeding the homeless and everything. You know, episode one, giving back, blessing. Make sure y'all go ahead and go and check that out. Uh, it should be should be on a previous last video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get back to this damn Kroger. I'm probably like two minutes away, three minutes away. But, so yeah, I'll see y'all. Should I get her the Coke? Or the Kroger Coke? Coke is, the Kroger Coke is what, 79 cents? See, I'm gonna get Two liter Coke is a dollar. Yeah, I think if I get her that Kroger Coke, it's gonna help her out as much as she want. Get her this one. I think it's still freezing in this hole. Let's see how we make it out. We in this big whole lot of games. <clears throat> I need to figure out what I'm about to do tomorrow. Cause I know today I'm supposed to get on FaceTime with these. Do our little, we trying to, we used to do our study Sundays every Sunday where we would actually go to the school. Okay, it's mud. Trying to get me copyrighted. But we'll normally do our study Sundays every Sunday. I'm gonna come clean. Those study Sundays be. I see why you be going to the library, bro. That shit helps. That shit truly helps. That's the only way I can pass physics too. I'm gonna come clean. And, and I got this numerical methods. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get done. So I'm trying to incorporate them study Sundays back. Even though school almost over, but we'll continue our study Sundays. We missed last Sunday. We're gonna do it today. So hopefully. Uh, we can get everything situated and these be up and be ready to get on FaceTime. These be bullshit. We're going to get on that. But I need to figure out what I'm going to do because uh, for this weekend. Because really, I don't have. <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do that's going to be like recording. Recording footage, you know, like recording footage worthy. But all I know is that I'm going to be studying for that test. So I really don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I need to find something to do so we can get some footage up. So I can have the next vlog ready. You know, this vlog, well, this vlog right here. Y'all go check out my Instagram, man. That thing, that thing popping, man. But yeah, like y'all said, the song, y'all, uh, that was my boy Cozart. It's C-X-Z-V-R-T. It was in the description and everything. Y'all go check him out, man. It's a fire producer. He whipped up that exclusive beat for me. Dropped it for me. You know, that's going to be my outro. I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where else, I'm trying to figure out where else I can incorporate that song in. But it's going to be my outro for sure from now on. So you know, y'all go check my boy out, bro. He fire producer, up and coming. That's a brother, you know, my brother, man. Y'all go ahead and go check him out. Make sure y'all uh, follow him on uh, SoundCloud, follow him on IG. Really, one of y'all, one of y'all had liked uh, my IG post of the promo video of it, and y'all had uh, y'all was like, he asked, "When do ask?" He was like, "Hey, bro, what's the name of that song?" And I was like, "Bro." It's an exclusive beat from Cozart. Tagged a minute. And he was like, oh, appreciate, appreciate. Like, bro, y'all boys gonna follow my boy, man. We in this thing. We all grinding. We all eat, man. Subscribe, rate, and comment, bro. See y'all whenever I do something or whatever. I told y'all earlier we doing the, uh, our study Sundays, but we're doing it on Friday today and on Sunday. So, like I told y'all, I promised y'all, you know, Facebook. I said Facebook. Uh, uh, what's this shit called? FaceTime. So we'll be on FaceTime, we're doing our study. Let me go ahead and show this. Bro, I'm watching Charles play too, and they, 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 they even tie this man to the bed for what we do. We're doing our work, bro. So yeah, man. I'll catch y'all, hopefully, i try to figure out something to do tomorrow. If not, then I'll see y'all whenever I see y'all. I was given a mission that um, for me to go out and find a family to give this to. My niece just came out here. Say what's up. What is that, Kayla? Say what's up, man. Say what's up. Why are you really going to take me? Say what's up. What's up? Give me a mission to go out and 
find somebody to give this to a family in need you know because i you know i told them about what i'd be doing stuff like that so they gave me a mission it's bread you got bread potatoes mac and cheese stuffing uh green beans uh beans all that in here and the juice so i'm i need to find a family i already posted some stuff on social media for somebody to hit me up if not i'm gonna have to just go side of town and you know just ask a random person you know and see what's up so but today i'm i might do that tomorrow or something but today i'm about to go get my hair cut in a few i ain't trying to be wasting a lot of gas so i may do that tomorrow but left and that's how that time went to missouri city to go to my bank because i know i have a bank my bank is only in missouri city went over there now i'm back at my house then i gotta go back to the original side of town i was just came from before i went to missouri city to get my hair cut so we're gonna see if my barber gonna be yesterday hopefully he won't but so i guess oh let me show y'all a quick fit of the day Liv, 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 show him a fit of the day hold the camera Liv. no i ain't say put it on you i ain't say put it on you put it on me man put it on me man. you see me uh -huh. You see me? You just show that. Show my face, man. Look at my face. You see my face? Okay, show a quick fit. Quick fit. Go down. Go down. Show a quick fit. Show the shoes too quick fit, Leah. She up here scared, and she don't know what she doing, man. <laughs> what? But yeah, man. So I see y'all. We'll see y'all whenever um I go out and find a person to give this to, or when I come back from getting my hair cut, whichever one. So Leah, you want to say anything to the camera before before we go? Yeah. What you want to say? We're going to come back to... Say, say like and subscribe, man. Like and subscribe. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Looking good. I'm going to come clean. All right, man, I got something I want to talk about. I just thought about something. A lot of people, for y'all that's watching, make sure y'all watch what y'all say. Wait, watch what y'all speak into this universe, man. Because the power of tongue is really, really powerful, man. And... A lot of people don't see that, but it really is. Like, what you speak into existence will come true. If you constantly saying, oh man, I'm gonna get this girl pregnant, I'm gonna get this, it goes into your conscience where eventually you're gonna get that girl pregnant. Like, so it's like, like, prime example, I got some good ones and I got some bad ones. I always say that um, when I was younger, ever since I was in middle school, I would always say, I'm gonna get me some a set of swings. I'm gonna get a set of swings. I'm gonna get a set of swings. That's all you think about. And it got to a point where it got in my conscience, like in the back of my mind, like, okay, I'm gonna get me a set of swings. So I eventually ended up buying a set of swings, I think a year ago, or maybe two years ago, something like that. I, got, I still got them, I don't have them on right now, but I still have them, they in my garage. But it got to the point where I spoke that into existence. Like, promise up, I just took my uh, fine numerical methods uh, to application, whatever that shit is. Well, you know what I'll be telling y'all about. I took that test, right? I was not confident in that test. I'm gonna come clean. I was not confident, like, I was not confident at all. I kept saying, like, bro, I might have failed it. Like, at first I was like, oh, I might have failed it. Because at first I, w I wasn't confident, bro. I wasn't. Test or whatever. And I was like, bro, like, I might have failed this thing. Like, and I needed to pass this test. So I text me, I was like, man, dog, I'm not confident in this thing. And then she was like, chill, like, you gonna pass, like, you know, you good. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna speak into existence, man. Passed the test and I passed this class, bro. I'm done, like, I'm chilling. Tell me why I checked my grade on the test yesterday. I ended up getting an 83 on it. And I also prayed to God. Don't get that, don't get that twisted. I believe in God, I pray to God. So I prayed to God and I was like, you know what? I'm speaking into existence. I'm leaving it in God's hands. I felt like, you know, I did what I could. Come to find out, I passed that test with an 83. I don't know how. Because it seemed like I was doing, the, like, the the formulas and everything it was. It seemed like I was doing, it's like, I forgot what to ask. But it seemed like I did something that's towards a whole different other question. But somehow, I don't know, but I didn't get an 83. I don't know how. I only missed 10 points on it. And each, it was it was one question. Each part was worth 20 points. And it was three parts. So, two, four, six. Yeah, it was 60. 60 points out of, so I ended up getting, you know, 83 out of, out of the 60 or whatever. So it's like, it just don't make sense, bro. Like, that's why I tell y'all, bro, like, make sure you watch what you're speaking to this uh, universe because that shit is powerful. A lot of people don't, don't understand that, but it is powerful. You see a lot of people that be, oh, I wish somebody would, like 6 9 prime example. 
test my gangster, this and that, whoop de whoop, whoop de whoop. What happened? One of his own boys end up uh, kidnapping him and shit. Like, come on, dog. You can't, you can't speak that shit into existence, bro. You can't speak that shit in because that shit will actually happen to you. So y'all just watch what y'all say, bro. It's simple as that. Just watch what y'all say. Watch y'all words. Just speak positivity, bro. That's all it is. Positivity. Speak that into the world. Speak that into existence. Man, what's going on, dog? I'm going to go pick up this man, Dylan, from the damn bus station downtown. I was just asleep, too. I was knocked out. Sleeping good. Uh, set my alarm clock. Boy, still shaky. You know, you get that shaky voice when you just wake up. And you sleeping, that's when you're sleeping good. Well, yeah, make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment, bro. Oh, and I found somebody to give the turkey to. I'm not gonna show it on camera or nothing, but y'all just know I found somebody. You know, it's somebody that I know. You know, have a kind of a bond. Not a bond. Well, you can say like a bond. Well, it's somebody that I know. So, um. Somebody I actually work with. So, it's like, you know, they need it. I got y'all. So, yeah, that's, you know, it's a blessing. Blessing somebody. But, like I said, I'm not going to show it on camera because, you know, you know how they go. I could tell, you know. But, like I said, man, y'all always, you never know you can be a blessing to somebody else, man. I had a conversation with an older brother and he told me, he was like, you never know you might be in that position. You never know. So y'all just go ahead and go out and help people, man. Right? It's simple as that. Y'all just go ahead and go out and help people. Do what y'all can. You can always you never you can always be in that position. You never know. So just always just be blessed. Just be blessed, bro. So yo, like I was saying, I'm pick this back up when I get downtown and, and this man get off the bus or whatever. So make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment, bro. I think this may be cl the close towards the end of this vlog. Man. Since I already, I know how I say I normally, you know, find somebody to bless, which I am finding someone to bless because I'm dropping out the turkey tomorrow, but I'm just not going to show me dropping it off. So, y'all just know that, um, I did find somebody to bless. I wish I could show it, but at the same time, I wouldn't feel kind of comfortable showing it because, like I said, I know how this person is, you know, and, you know, I, I, I have a personal relationship with this person. So it's not like, you know. Boy, you got this here. My boy, man. Gas, 279 over here, dog. Why you get over here? Why you get by the crib? But yeah, man. You enjoyed yourself, dog. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It was a humbling experience to actually go up there and see, uh, um, be a part of a luncheon like that, man. Like that's it that was it was crazy. But uh, the head person, the guest speaker was was the she was an AKA, and she her made her what she did was like something that I want to do. It's something that I want to do, like it's something that uh, she be doing for uh, twenty years. And she was like, she was like, yeah, first of all, first of all, tell them where you went. Tell them where you went. All right. Cause I, I definitely didn't tell them. Niggas, oh, I went to a luncheon, uh, 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 AKA luncheon. Um, I supported, I supported a friend, went to AK luncheon, and uh, it was like, I say, like I say, it was a humbling experience. Uh, see a whole bunch of AKAs in there, and uh, see, I, I, I don't keep.